in this chapter uh, in this video we will be reviewing all the important questions of hc verma within 5 to 10 minutes and uh, if you uh, are having not so much time to solve all the questions just solve the important questions as i mentioned in this video so let's start with the first question and this question we have to find uh, what where the third charge where the third charge should be placed so that it doesn't experience any force because of these two charges which are placed at a uh, separation of 10 centimeter so now let's have a look at the solution as both the charges are positive and uh, uh, the third charge must be placed in between somewhere in between of them because the forces has to cancel each other so they have to be in opposite direction and equal in magnitude let's say uh, it is placed at a distance x from one of the charge and uh, 1.1 minus x from another charge 0.1 meter is equal to 10 centimeter so we have to equate these two forces f1 by charge 1 on charge q and f2 by q2 on q while equating these forces we can find the value of x as this the next question is just uh, question number seventh in which uh, in the previous problem which i already discussed we have to replace this one coulomb uh, one micro coulomb charge with a negative micro coulomb charge and now find the location of third charge where it doesn't experience any force so let's look at the solution and this uh, as the, both the charges q1 and q2 are of opposite sign uh, their forces again must have to cancel so the charge should be one side of both the charges and uh, it should be nearer to the smaller charge so we have to place another the new charge which will experience zero force near minus y, one micro coulomb so let the distance is a and distance from this charge will be a plus 10 centimeter so 10 plus x and x uh, it doesn't matter whether you change the units because they will cancel each other so just by equating their forces as we have already taken care of the directions we'll get the value of x as this important thing to be noticed if the charges are of same type or both the charges are of same polarity then the third charge should be placed somewhere in between and if the charges are of opposite polarity the third charge should be placed on either side on one side of both the charges and uh, nearer to the smaller charge thank you in the next question, question number eight of HCV, uh, it is asked what is the minimum possible magnitude of the electric force between two charges which are placed at one centimeter separation. So for minimum possible magnitude, just take the charges to be E. Both the charges will be E, only then the uh, force will be minimum as the minimum possible charges exist that can exist is E. The next question you should have a look at is question number 12. Uh, in this two insulating spheres are rubbed against each other and placed at a separation of one centimeter and they experience a force of one newton due to the charging and you have to find the how many electrons are transferred from one to another uh, just take the force as 0.1 newton and the separation as this both the charges as ne one will be plus ne another will be minus ne as n are the number of electrons which are transferred from one to another so the expression will be as as shown in this solution uh, that the force is this force is one newton the separation is point zero one meter or one into ten to the power minus two meter and you'll find the value of q as this just put it is equal to ne you'll get the value of n which is the number of electrons transferred from one sphere to another the next question you look for is question number 17 in which four charges are placed at the corners of a square of side length is the charges have this much magnitude and you have to find the force experienced by any one of the charge due to rest three charges so you have to take the vector summation of three forces experienced by one charge due to the other three charges as shown look at this diagram and we have to find the force on the charge placed at c due to the charges at a b c these are the three forces experienced by the charge at c the net force will be the resultant of these three forces so if we calculate these three forces we'll get 
by simple resultant method will get this value of force you can look at the calculation how we get it the next question is question number 20 in which there are 10 charges placed at these locations 10 20 30 centimeters from origin and the charges are having these values so we have to find um, the electric force acting on one coulomb charge which is placed at the origin we have to take the resultant of all these forces because of these charges which are placed at 10 20 30 centimeter from the uh, origin while looking at the solution we can easily find out that the force due to the first charge which is of this much value and placed at 10 centimeter from origin is this and the force due to the next charge will be this and uh, so on we can say that this is forming a series the first force is k into 10 to the power minus 6 second is 2k into 10 to the power minus 6 third is 3k into 10 to the power minus 6 we can take the common as k into 10 to the power minus 6 we'll get these by adding these forces we can take the sum of first an integer as nn plus 1 by 2 we'll get 55 and we'll get the value of the force experienced by the charge placed at the origin in this question uh, there are two identical balls which are rubbed against each other and they are suspended from a length, uh, string of length 20 cm. The point of suspension are separated by 5 cm and because of equal and opposite charge in them they attract each other and the final separation between the balls become 3 cm and uh, each ball has a charge of magnitude this you have to find the mass of each ball and the tension in the strings. So, as the ball are having equal and opposite charge they will attract and will come somewhat closer to each other in this type of question as uh, the length of the string is very small as compared to the displacement of the particles so 10 theta or theta or sine theta will be very small so then they can be considered as equal sine theta which is uh, 1 by 20 can also be considered as 10 theta in this diagram there are only three forces this is the displacement of the charge because the separation between the two charges is three centimeter and this is five centimeter so it has moved by one centimeter for sure so in this triangle you can find out the value of sine theta or tan theta as one by twenty the separation between the charges are three centimeter so you can find out the force columbian force between them and just put as uh, 10 theta or sine theta is equal to f by mg you'll get the value of m here and you can just this is the tension and t cos theta will balance mg t sine theta will give you f you can find out the value of tension as well by this method we can have a look at the similar question question number 25 in which there are two balls which are having equal charges they are uh, suspended from a string of length l they makes an angle 2 theta while they are in equilibrium you have to find the mass of each ball the separation between the charges as they are forming an angle theta with the vertical or 2 theta with both the strings in between the string so this separation half of the separation will be l sine theta so the total separation between the charges will be 2 l sine theta so the electric force between them will be this kq square by 2 l sine theta whole square and uh, again we can get 10 theta as electric force divided by mg by just uh, uh, solving the triangle and uh, we already know the value of mg so we can we know the value of electric force and theta we can find out the mg by this simple method in this uh, question the third charge which is to be placed uh, should be of opposite polarity and must be placed in between of them so let's uh, try to find out all the possible cases this is plus 2q this is q and the third charge let's say it is positive we cannot place it here because both q and 2q will not be in equilibrium then both will push each other and if we place the third charge positive q dash here then again this 2q can never be in equilibrium 
so with the help of all positive charges or all negative charges we cannot form equilibrium of the surrounding uh, of the charges which are placed at the periphery so the charges must be of opposite sign to remain in equilibrium so the third charge will be of opposite polarity and it must be placed in somewhere in between the two positive charges so let's say uh, the third charge is small q or capital q and it is of opposite polarity so what we can say that the force of interaction between 2q and q will be this uh, kqq by d square and there's another four force on small q which is applied by this and also on 2q which is applied by this charge placed at c and uh, net force on this charge has to be zero and net force on this charge has to be zero so we can say that the forces applied by this charge placed at c on a on and on b must be equal only then these two forces can cancel each other so the forces applied by capital q on small q is this and on this 2q by capital q is this we equate these forces we can find out the value of uh, the, uh, the location of the third charge as this and to find out uh, the value of charge which is which should be placed at c we can put the net force on any of the charge to be zero so by equating the net force on the charge small q to be zero we can get the value of the charge placed at c automatically it comes out to be the opposite polarity